Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead here inside the B Studio. So uh, this week we are preparing our hives to go into winter. So this is uh, fall preparation time. So I went to Walmart and uh, had my face mask on. I bought all the 20 pound, 25 pound bags that they had, which was two. And I bought uh, three, I think they're 10 pound or maybe they're five pound bags. I don't know. Anyway, uh, got a bunch of sugar. So uh, you can see my uh, supers are stored back here and uh, got them on moth crystals, protecting them from the moths. Uh, in this time of the year, the moths are really active. So you wanna keep the crystals on them until you get a good freeze. Uh, but today we're going to be making some syrup to uh, get our hives fed, the weak ones, and get some syrup in there. So you probably saw from my last uh, couple of videos, I have some hives that uh, need to be fed. So uh, we'll be working on that. And I'm gonna show you how I mix up my feed in these buckets and the equipment I used to do that. It's uh, nothing uh, scientific, but uh, it probably helps you to see someone that does it on a little bit bigger scale than in like a milk jug or whatever. So uh, I do it in these five gallon buckets. So uh, not much more to say about that. Let's get started and I'll show you how I mix it up. Okay, so I use a couple of five gallon buckets here. I got them from Tractor Supply. These are food grade buckets. And Instead of mixing one five gallon bucket completely full, I'll mix two, about two thirds full. So what I've done is I've just taken a Sharpie and I've marked about one thirds and then two thirds right here. And uh, that's about half and half uh, by volume, which I've heard people say by weight and I've heard people say by volume. And you know what? I've never had bees complain and say, I don't like this at all and I'm not going to eat it. So they tear it up. Uh, so going into fall, I'm going to mix it a little uh, thicker. So I'm probably going to either put a little more uh, sugar in or I'm going to do a little less water. Uh, I probably uh, I could do a little less water because i got plenty of sugar now. And uh, so let's get these filled up and I'll switch to a first person video and show you how we do this. So when I say switch to a uh, first person video, I'm switching from this little Joby Gorilla Pod to the Jamaica Mon hat. It's got the little GoPro mount on it. So just keeping you up with the magic that happens behind the scenes here at the Jerome Beef Farm and Homestead. Okay, for this exercise, you will need some Pro Health or Honey Bee Healthy works uh, well. Also, it's basically the same thing. Uh, what I understand about Pro Health over Honey Bee Healthy is uh, one of the ingredients is thymol. Right there, thymol. Uh, Varroa mites hate thymol. I'm told. I've not done any research on that, but. Uh, one of the uh, master beekeepers in our beekeeping club is the one that told me about that. Uh, you need a drill and put it on the fastest setting and a paint mixer. Uh, some people call it a mortar mixer, but you can get this at your favorite uh, blue or orange store and uh, just hook it onto your drill. Using a big spoon is no bueno. This is the way to go, right here. Okay, I've got me a bag already open here. And uh, that's on my wax bucket. Let me show you the wax we got real quick. So uh, this is the wax from our uh, 2020 honey harvest. Quite a bit. Nice little one ounce bo blocks. This bag was uh, from a prior year. You notice the difference in color. 
This is a little lighter than that. Let's get our sugar in here. I turn it around so I can see the, the marks from the other side. I know you all are on the edge of your seats watching this awesome action. Sir, I went a little over the line there. There's my line. So it's a little deeper. So we'll fill our water to here. I misplaced my Kershaw pocket knife. So I'm on the backup uh, shred. Cheapy. using my Kershaw out digging up goat heads. The uh, dirt we got on our new house around the sides had goat head seed in it. Goat heads suck really bad. Those of you who don't know what those are, they're stickers that will flatten a lawnmower tire. They're like Chinese throwing stars from hell. Okay. All right, that looks good. Now we're gonna pro health this up. So pro health says, uh, for a feed stimulant, uh, four teaspoons per gallon. Uh, drench spray, you can use it for that. Six tablespoons per gallon. That's really strong. And uh, for a health aid, three tablespoons per gallon. So. I'm going to use it as a kind of a in-between uh, feed stimulant and health. So, and this is going to be what three gallons. I'm not going to mix it near as strong as they say. So this is probably a little bigger than a tablespoon. So I'm going to do four of this in here. And this is strong. And. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, lemongrass oil and it's basically essential oils but uh, you don't want to use this stuff in the summer during the dearth uh, you will cause a robbing frenzy it really attracts bees that uh, lemongrass oil smell I would say is probably what does it you could probably use it uh, in swarm traps uh, put a little bit on a q-tip and stick in there how many was that y'all counting i think that was three we're gonna go with that all right so now i'm gonna take it in the uh kitchen in there our garage kitchen used to be where we lived and i uh, kicked the hot water heater on just for this occasion and we'll uh put the hot water to these Okay, so this is where we do our extracting. We got our extractor still set up here. Uh, just did my father-in-law's uh, hives a few weeks back and uh, still haven't cleaned this out. I do have uh, a few supers out there still in the hives that we might get some uh, fall honey from. So kind of staging this here for that. We've got uh, two bottling tanks here and uh, still got about uh, 20 gallons left to bottle. But uh, these are the bottles we're using right here. Oop, sound like the smoke alarm battery needs replaced. And here's some of the honey we've got bottled up. Uh, this, this is all half pint uh, gifts. So that's for gifts where I work and miscellaneous stuff. And here's some of the stuff we have bottled up right now. Ooh, aw. Oh. The sales uh, were really strong at first and then uh, slowed down. Okay, so got our buckets brought in. I got the hot water kicked on. It's nice and hot now. 
So we'll just uh, get it up to our levels. This thing kind of leaks. So we're shooting for right here. I think I can get it over there without spilling any. <laughs> Sure can. Well, that smells good. Like some uh, high-powered lemonade. I wonder if it tastes like lemonade. I've never tasted it. <laughs> I bet those other oils give it uh, a little bit of a bitter or sour flavor. This one right here. There's our water line. We'll call that good. Okay, it's go time. So I like to run it at first in reverse. So it's bringing the liquid towards you. Whoa. Make sure you got your uh, arbor tight. We got a couple of leaves in there somehow. This is forward. So an important part when you're mixing this, make sure you use hot water. It dissolves much faster. That was reverse. This is forward. Now sometimes you'll have some settling out of uh, as the water goes down into the sugar. So you can see my water level is below my mark a little bit. So I may want to bring that up a little bit. I don't know. This one did the same. Okay, so you can see that the little paint mixer, man, it agitates it up really good. Uh, with the hot water in there, uh, that should be good to go. You can go uh, put that in your hives right now. If you let it sit a while, you might hit it again uh, the next day. Uh, if you go out like the next day with it, uh, you might hit it again one more time just in case there's any residue on the bottom. Sure and seal these up good if you don't use them the same day because they attract moths and bees, <laughs> all kinds of insects, ants, and keep them like off the floor. I don't have much problem inside this garage in here. So that's how we do it. Uh, I usually pour my syrup just right out of the bucket into the feeder. I use hive top feeders and I've just got some new ones and I'm going to unbox those here in a minute in another video. But uh, if you have smaller ones you can uh, use a cup or something and ladle it out. Uh, the problem is uh, when the bees are out flying a lot they're going to they're going to get in here and get in your way and they're going to get in there and they're going to start drowning. So best time to do this is late in the evening when the bees aren't flying around. Just get out there, uh, fill your feeders up and get out. So uh, 
You could do it in the middle of the day, but uh, you're going to have a lot more problems, especially with the smell of that lemongrass oil and the Pro Health. So we don't have as much content uh, this time of year. We're going into the fall, not doing a whole bunch of inspections. We're uh, checking for uh, the weight and the viability of the hives to get through winter. And we're going to start doing some oxalic acid treatments. So I'll probably show some of that and some feeding and some other things. So uh, videos might get a little slower and I'll probably start showing uh, maybe a couple product reviews and some, some things like that. But uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, some exciting stuff mixing up sugar water. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it was informative. Uh, so give me a thumbs up if you would and please subscribe on your way out. And uh, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Probably uh, put some of this syrup in. Y'all take care.